What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. And I'm going to talk about the idea of us getting a flashback back to the Myers house in 1978 in this movie. Now, we know that at the end of Halloween Kills, we got that, or I think there was a couple times actually, where we saw a young Michael Myers. We saw Karen see young Michael Myers looking out the window, I'm assuming after he killed his sister or maybe even like shortly prior to whatever happened that led up to the events that we saw at the beginning of the 1978 film. We saw a young Michael Myers in his in his uh, recognizable clown costume. And then he, of course, was gone. It's like a hallucination. So I'm getting to think maybe they dive into the Myers house once again and something goes down where someone is kind of just being able to piece together something in their head where we jump back to the night that Michael killed Judith and we actually get to see what happened when his parents found him. All we see is them finding him. He's standing there clearly looking like he has no idea what's going on. He's not aware of what he what he's doing. It's as if the person that was originally in control of the body is an autopilot and something else is taking full control because you see a very confused look on that little boy's face. Somebody who's just not there all the way there. Clearly doesn't know what they're doing. And then his parents are just they're just looking at him trying to understand what are they looking at. They see him with a bloody knife. I think his father, when walking up to him, says, Michael, before taking off the mask. And then we see this this innocent looking child, this normal looking child. And we, we the audience, are right there along with the parents. Like, what the hell are you doing? What, what, what is going on? So maybe in Halloween Ends, we get to see some aftermath from that. We get to see them go into the house, discover Judith's body. And then maybe there's something that goes down between Michael and his parents. Maybe, maybe specifically Michael's father, where maybe we tap into some of the stuff that might have contributed to what went or what made him go wrong. I'm not saying they need to go that far. I actually prefer if they don't. But let's just say they, they, they decide to do that. Maybe they do show us the fallout of what happened after the parents went inside the house with Michael. Because I'm assuming they went back inside the house, discovered Judas' body, obviously. I'm assuming maybe there was a reaction from the mother similar to how the the similar to how Mrs. Becker reacted when she saw Casey outside of the house in the original screen. Maybe something like that goes down. And then maybe there's some brief altercations or hostility between Michael and his father. And now to make it even worse or to make it even more interesting, I think you could do don't have the father abusive towards Michael. Don't do that because then that would start to lend to giving us hints that maybe there's some abuse that would go on between the father and the son and then people are going to start drawing connection oh he was he was abused and he came from a bad home now you're reaching into rob zombie territory i would rather it just be something that is more of a reaction to the fact he just found his daughter dead and his little boy is the one holding the knife and at first he can come to him very confused and just wanting to get answers but then it becomes into an into a, a aggression. Now, now this can still all just be delivered from the father's voice. But here's where it gets more compelling. Michael will continue to have this look on his face that shows no signs of emotion. That that confusion that's on his face has disappeared, and it's just literally that expression that Dr. Loomis described: blank, pale, emotionless face. No signs of being confused anymore. At this point, it's really clear that the boy who was in control before is not the same individual in control now i'm not saying that we're gonna jump in into like people body hopping or anything like that i'm just saying that's how it could come across that there clearly was a a mental shift in this boy's brain where now he, the way he looked outside after he just after the, the parents that came home is completely different to now how he looks inside the house there's no emotion there's no look of confusion it's just a literal face that shows nothing no signs of being being uh dominant or defined or defiant towards his father nothing like that it's just nothing this everything that dr loomis described and we're seeing the fallout of them finding their daughter upstairs dead trying to get answers out of their out of their young son who isn't responding and michael is just sitting there and we can explore we can explore that we can have the have the events play out of the paramedics arriving and explaining that michael was the one who did it we can see michael get admitted to smith's grove maybe we see a little glimpse of michael myers in smith's grove with a dr loomis recreation once again like how they recreated dr loomis in halloween kills which was done tremendously well 
and you know it could be some, there's something like that somehow exploring that in halloween ends i don't know what event would cause that but i think it would be a cool thing to see this wouldn't be done in a way again i don't think it should be done in a way where you get your audience thinking about oh that's why he snapped it should just be something that is just an extension of what we saw at the beginning of halloween 1978 we get to see the fallout of the parents finding julie's body seeing how they reacted further to michael not only now finding him outside of their house with a bloody knife but then when you went inside we don't know how they reacted to michael after finding judah's body how did they probably interrogate him and how was michael in regards to all that again i would keep michael very emotionless i would have us see the paramedics arrive and take judith away i would have the police come try to talk to michael somebody could come and try to talk to michael there's just there's just nothing there's there's nothing everyone's trying to get through the michael and it's just nothing and michael gets taken and taken into custody admitted to smith's grove and then maybe we don't even get to see his time in Smith's Grove. But that could just be something that stops right there. Like the fallout of them going back into the house, finding Judas body, and then fleshing out how they responded to Michael even further beyond that. Maybe you guys would like to see that. Maybe you guys think that's too much and we don't need to have something like that. I'm not saying it's a necessity, but I think it'll be a nice cool thing to expand on that doesn't take away from what was already established by the original film itself I, I again don't think you should take it in the direction where you start answering questions about what might have caused him to kill his sister i don't think we should leave anything like that lying around in the scene i don't think there should be any bits of dialogue that point towards anything everything should be still left up in the air about why michael did that it should be made even more clear that this man comes from a functioning home he comes from a home where there's two parents that care about him and he had a loving sister and i think that would be make it even better his surroundings should show signs of his actions not making more sense he's coming from a home that's not broken which i think would make it even more compelling and then you have him sitting there in all this silence the police can't reach him his parents can't reach him and we get to see the fallout of them going back into the house and discovering judas body i just think that would be something nice to see if they revisited a young michael myers once again in halloween ends and somehow factor that into a flashback some way but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below would if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you haven't missed a video in the description i've linked to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you want me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video